This is an English listening practice. I will read the same sentence twice. Please fill the blank space with a word. Let's get started. As soon as the points of value of the new sub-breed are once fully acknowledged, the principle, as I have called it, of unconscious selection will always tend, perhaps more at one period than at another, as the breed rises or falls in fashion, perhaps more in one district than in another, according to the state of civilization of the inhabitants, slowly to add to the characteristic features of the breed, whatever they may be. But the chance will be infinitely small of any record having been preserved of such slow, varying, and insensible changes. As soon as the points of value of the new sub-breed are once fully acknowledged, the principle, as I have called it, of unconscious selection will always tend, perhaps more at one period than at another, as the breed rises or falls in fashion, perhaps more in one district than in another, according to the state of civilization of the inhabitants, slowly to add to the characteristic features of the breed, whatever they may be. But the chance will be infinitely small of any record having been preserved of such slow, varying, and insensible changes. I must now say a few words on the circumstances, favorable, or the reverse, to man's power of selection. A high degree of variability is obviously favorable, as freely giving the materials for selection to work on. Not that mere individual differences are not amply sufficient, with extreme care, to allow of the accumulation of a large amount of modification in almost any desired direction. But as variations manifestly useful or pleasing to man appear only occasionally, the chance of their appearance will be much increased by a large number of individuals being kept, and hence this comes to be of the highest importance to success. I must now say a few words on the circumstances, favorable, or the reverse, to man's power of selection. A high degree of variability is obviously favorable, as freely giving the materials for selection to work on. Not that mere individual differences are not amply sufficient, with extreme care, to allow of the accumulation of a large amount of modification in almost any desired direction. But as variations manifestly useful or pleasing to man appear only occasionally, the chance of their appearance will be much increased by a large number of individuals being kept, and hence this comes to be of the highest importance to success.